everybody and welcome to let's play The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine and here we are on the cusp of Beauclair. Listening to this rousing music, observing the sunrise being bumped into by strangers. It's marvellous. <laughs> Fetch this empty dead and sweep up here. I did say in the last session that I will take my time when exploring this here city. Soak it up, drink it in, enjoy, stumble across whatever I stumble across. And I do intend to do that. But I want to amble with a kind of purpose. I don't want to just wander around aimlessly. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, a quest that I didn't realise that I had. Now, uh, when I was trying to save the white, I picked up a strange spoon-like key. And that strange spoon, apparently, according to a note attached to said spoon key, belonged to the pheasantry. The finest tavern in all of Toussaint, and that tavern is uh, right here, almost slap bang in the middle of the city. So that is going to be our first official destination, if we don't get distracted on, <laughs> on the way. So let's go. See what trouble we can get into. Because getting into trouble is our specialty, don't forget. Est est flows in the veins of the Certainly got a far more vibrant feel than uh, Novigrad. Right, we've got uh, uh, Town crier, I suppose. Greetings. Greetings. A witcher from the school of the wolf here in Tucson. Greetings. I'm Lazar Lafarg. Geralt of Rivia. Seem pretty enthused. Got a job for me? Brother. Mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armorer, see, and I, for years, sought diagrams for witcher armor of exceptional quality, Grandmaster level. Heard of them. Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not That's quite. a lie. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. If you know where to look, why not get him yourself? No offense, but do I look like a rough hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No, I'd rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. Ah, so this is, um... The chap was supposed to find when we when we uh, unlock that quest about the Grand Master Feline Gear. I didn't actually know this was the guy. This is a bit of a coincidence, really. I was just going to sell some of my wares, but uh, well, it's a good start. All these diagrams somehow wound up in Tusa. How is that even possible? Tusa was once home to Tien Sail, a legendary and now deceased Elfin Master Armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged the king's ransom for his work. 
Witches would take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai inside. So I heard the stories of the missing witches first hand. What he told me... Well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. Okay, suppose so. This elven master, how'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sail saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, uh, until I complete Witcher armor of Grand Master quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. Right then. Let's just have a quick peek at what he's got. What do you have on offer? And uh, sell what I've got. Now, I do have, from the last session, a collection of stuff. Teshem Mutna stuff. Teshem Mutna armor. Teshem Mutna boots. A Mutna steel sword. We even got a Mutna mask, didn't we? I'm sure, we picked up a mask at some point as well. So I won't sell them. Put them in my stash if I can. Do you sell uh, dyes? No. All right. Well, I'll just sell this stuff that I don't need. It's got ten thousand coin. This is nice to see. It's actually quite a nice sword. Uh, how much is it worth though? <laughs> I am in need of coin and if I'm not going to use this thing it's just going to be clutter. So unfortunately I'm going to sell. Unless somebody give it to me as a quest reward and I just can't remember. You know what I'll keep it for now. And it's 800 coin but I'll keep it for now. I think we need 5,000 to upgrade the exterior of our vineyard. So we're getting there. Couple more quests, a bit more loot to sell. We'll make it. Anyway, so we did get some Grandmaster stuff, didn't we? I just wondered if we could, if we can craft that straight away. Forget it for now. <laughs> Repair my equip stuff. And uh, see if he'll tell me where the diagrams are. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear, and manticore. Which should I start with? Uh, manticore, you say? That's a new one. Heard of the rest. Start with that one, if you please. School of the Manticore. Probably know the least about it. Though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him. A witcher named Merton. 
He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. He would conduct no business with a drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze-fueled brawl with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. Bastoy Prison, where he was held, well, it's been a ruin for years. Still, you may want to start your search there. Okay, that'll kind of be interesting. A ruined prison. Uh, and of course, why not the armor set that I'm wearing right now? School of the Wolf. Tell me about my brother, the Wolf. His name was Atom. I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find a safe, yet well-paid contract. A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Tucson from Castel Gropia. They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at Termas. He warned them of the danger there and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termas. I cannot say if there is any truth to this, but both the scholars and the Witcher disappeared without a trace. Now, is that the ruins that we saw? Uh, we picked up some notes about it, and it could be. Uh, my next favourite piece of armour was the Griffin set, another medium armour set. Could make use of that at Grandmaster level. The Griffin. What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago, but my master remembered him well. This Witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. He had taken on a contract at Fort Usa and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams paid a deposit and was never seen again. Apparently he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said he left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. Okay, and the cat? Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome de Lorne, the ducal armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time he was working on new armor for the ducal guard. A witcher from the school of the cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. The diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw. Was it really a Witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delaunay didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up, afraid the Witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delaunay disappeared without a trace. I would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair and it is simply too dangerous there. And finally... Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tien Sail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bear-head medallion that hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. True, this one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo Vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Time passed, the bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, 
the Witcher had indeed accepted a job. Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. Okay, so some leads. Not just uh, one treasure hunt, but five. Was it five or was it six? Five, I think it was. <laughs> We're going to be pretty busy. Farewell. Good luck on the path. So scavenger hunt, Wolven gear. Wait for it. Ursine gear. And Griffin gear. More for anyone? Manticore gear. <laughs> and and uh, that's it. Because I already got the feel like quest, remember? Right, okay, we're on the hunt. We're on the hunt. We're on the hunt for good stuff. Grandmaster Manticore, Wolven, Feline, Griffin, Ursine. Oh my god. All of this stuff. And actually, this spontaneous profits quest actually is probably, a, well, it is a treasure hunt as well. But it's an excuse to pop into the inn. And where there are inns, there usually is a game of Gwent as well. Merchant. That's what you get for smoking, my friend. Not very healthy. Um, is this merchant in a building, or is that the merchant there who's just snubbed me? Excuse me. Ah. Welcome, good sir, to Dupont and Sons' emporium of diverse merchandise. Satisfaction guaranteed. Ooh. First game of Gwent of the session. I've got a feeling there might be one or two games today. I hope you don't mind. Show me what you got back there. After a bit of oh, after a bit of shopping, he's got tons of pictures, man. Oh my god! And these, of course, can be hung up in my uh, lovely, warm, homely vineyard. Oh, and they're not even expensive. I've, I've got to have them all. I've got to have them all. Let's just make sure that none of... <gasps> Look, little Siri. Oh, night returning from Quest. Still live. I mean, I'm not... But I don't think Geralt would be a, a sucker for art. But, I mean, when it comes to decking out your abode in odds and ends, you've just got to do it, haven't you? you just got to do it. And only 20 coin a pop. I've got to have them all. Where are they going? They're going in my other inventory slot here. Nightgowns? Give me them all. I'm going to enjoy putting them up in my vineyard and some dice salute woo quite expensive for the dice solutions um, oh he does actually buy stuff you can buy my junk then mate how much for all this crap <laughs> blunt axes lots of spoons flask jars ladles goblets loots Yeah, I'm making a fortune here. An absolute fortune. Fishing nets, rope ladders. 65 coin. I'm paying for a few paintings here. It's ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Mugs. What are you calling a mug? Corks. Patched up vest. Uh, the pelts can be useful. Copper, copper salt and pepper shakers. Uh Boar pelt, goat hide. What's this? Teeth? False teeth? Anybody in need of some false teeth around here? It's just so much crap. I mean, <laughs> I mean, this jewelry isn't going to be uh, cheap. 
I just can't bring myself to sell it. Alright, that will do for now. Ooh, what happened there? Like I triggered a quest or something. Wait a minute. So long. You shan't find anything better in all Tucson. What did I do? Everything seems to be as it was. Welcome, please, Perus. Game of Gwent. Instead of chatting, why not a quick game of Gwent? Of course. Choose a leader. Why am I choosing a leader? Destroy your enemy's strongest ranged combat. If the combined strength of all it. Oh no. Siege. It's double the strength of all your siege. Of course. I pressed the wrong button, that's why. Right, he's monsters! Right. Frost would be handy. Don't need two of them. I don't need. Oh, I pressed the wrong button and this is a horrible deck. Oh my god. What have I done? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Ay caramba. It'll be a miracle if I win this one. A lesson. Oh, well, that's put the kibash on things for me, hasn't it? Can't really use any of these guys this round. Can't use him. And uh, what I'll do is I'll tease out of him a bit more of his frontline fighters, if I can. If I can get him to, I don't know, muster a few up. Okay, so I'll get, yeah, we'll lead him into a false sense of security here. That's it, bring them all out, son. Bring them all out. No, not just the bog standard. Bring some of your musters out. Bring some of your musters out, man. Come on. I'm trying to force his hand here if I can. Bring a muster ability out. Nope. Ah, uh, I'm screwed. He's still behind, so I'm going to pass here. He's going to have to use at least one more card. I will lose this round, though. But I'm hoping... There you go, another muster, another waste. Get rid of them now while you still can. Decoy one of them back. One of his cards will stay on the uh, board, of course. And he goes first. So I'm relying on the card advantage here, really. I have to go first, unfortunately. That stays on the board, which is a pain in the backside. Get a card for winning, though. That's a good card to get, I must admit. That's not a bad card to get. Go for the highest scoring one. Put him in the front row. Give me a better spread in case he's got a weather card. Be tight. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is gonna be close. 
Wouldn't it be a killer if his last card was a Scorch? Because that's the only way he's going to beat me. Clear weather. Oh, we scraped it. We scraped it. Don't ask me how. We had a bad deck. Miss press of a button could have cost us, but we won. 100 crowns. And Clan Dimon Papyrus. Thank you, sir. I stuck the lard of the Duquesa herself. Thank you. Now, all of these herbalists and these armourers, they probably all play. I won't stop off at every single one of them right now. Because there'll be far too many games to play. So I'll try and intersperse them between episodes. I might just play a couple off camera as well. Ooh, what's happening down here? the serendipity. I'm so glad you're back. Yeah, Master Witcher, what luck to happen upon you. Got work for me? New contract? Uh, of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past on your last sojourn in Beauclair. I was in a bit of a bind at the time, do you remember? Yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day. Guess it rings a bell. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Hmm. What kind of account? A savings account at Chanfanelli Bank. You need but walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Thanks. Head over there first chance I get. That's all he has to say? Gotta stop by that bank. The man has just... Worse than death. Well, at least I know there's a bank here. Um... That's an interesting little setup. Oh, look at this! Can anyone join the dance? Uh. What? You talking to me? Snow White. Name's Geralt. What can I do for you? That hair, the scar, ah, the frown. It's all perfect. Something you actually want from me? Or are you just going to go on gushing about my attributes? I admire, good <laughs> sir. Admire and desire. Such a threat in the eyes. Oh, so manly. If you're trying to get me to meet with you some evening, afraid you're just wasting your time. An evening? Impossible. I shall require the soft light of mid-afternoon for this portrait. Portrait? Indeed. Yours. En face. Actual size, with the finest Vista Toussaint Fords behind you. Pose for me. You must. Naturally, <laughs> I shall pay the compensation oh. to you for your modeling services. Compensation? Did you say compensation? Uh, well, if you pay compensation, I've got a vineyard to stock. Uh, go on then. Don't see why not, as long as it doesn't take long. It shan't. Never worry. With but a short distance to journey into the hills outside of town. Oh, no, 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 no! A perfect landscape perfectly to frame your perfect physiognomy. Oh, let's go then. Let's go. I need to only fetch my easel and pallets from my studio. We shall meet at noon at the western gate near the palace. From where we'll venture forth together. God. <laughs> I'm, not say I'm not saying anything. Uh, thank God we can meet him at, at our own time. We've got an hour to quickly squeeze in a quest in the meantime. And that quest involves me going to the bank. Because banks mean money. We'll run past the notice board. Stretch. Two. 
the bank. Now, what district is this? Column. <coughs> People coughing. It's always somebody to ruin the mood, isn't there? Babe. Right. Let's see if that man was telling the truth. 